What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco Delia and today I want to create a video about the top YouTubers to follow for personal development and I, that, that I've been following for years and that kept me growing and growing that really motivated me into any kind of different topics and facets of my growth in general. So let's start. And by the way, there you can see all the people that I actually appreciate the most in, on my vision board. And the majority of the people that I'm talking now, you can find them there. But let's start anyway. So my personal development. So what is my favorite YouTuber to follow for mindset is Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V, one of the main entrepreneur influencer in the world. He knows a lot about marketing. He knows a lot about motivation. He knows a lot about the inner core uh, experience that everyone should have of a mindset perspective. So I really like him. Everybody starts following, following him because they want to, they think that he's teaching you how to make money, but then they realize that they are like, his teachings are more general and I personally think because he's very spiritual inside, even if he doesn't think that he is spiritual at all. I really think that he is very existential and this makes uh, his teachings very powerful for your mindset and so to influence your business as well. So for mindset, patience, love, uh, kindness, compassion, Gary Vee is the one guy to follow. What about personal finance? Well, it really depends on the gender, the topic that you want to follow. So for example, if it's crypto, there are some crypto YouTubers uh, that I really like, like JDocs Crypto. But if you are talking about general personal finance, I love Grant Cardone, I love Dan Locke, and all the other guys that are not YouTubers, but for example, Dave Ramsey, maybe he has a YouTube channel. Mark Tilbury, all those guys are amazing and I think you can learn a lot from them. Even Tony Robbins, all these entrepreneurs talk about money in some sort of ways, but this is my favorite one between Grant Cardone, Dan Locke and Mark Tilbury. You can also learn a lot from Graham Stefan. I really like him. So I suggest you to check it out. For health, I mean, there are so many, but in my opinion, one guy that really is good talking about health is Wim Hof. Wim Hof for the mindset, for the compassion, the energy, the motivation, everything else. He's the Iceman, the guy that talks about cold showers and breathing exercises and meditations and... Uh, he does it all and even courses and yoga, I think is one of the best ones. I mean, if you talk about fitness, he's not like the typical fitness guru, but he's very, very good about health and well-being. So I really recommend you to check out Wim Hof. For fitness instead, there are many, 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 many other ones. I really like Chris Heria because he also does a lot of calisthenics. Uh, I also love about yoga fitness, so Hatha Yoga, uh, Sarabeth, I think it's the name. And I've been, I, I used to love Brandon Myers. I watched it a lot, I watched him a lot, but now he's making more of a different kind of content. So Chris Seria, I think that it should be, he should be my favorite one uh, regarding fitness in general. But there is also Athlan X, Jeff Cavalier, he's also very good. For spirituality, inner growth, guys, you have to follow Sadhguru. Sadhguru uh, just bought this copper water bottle, just bought this uh, copper ring. Guys, if you want to learn about spirituality, yoga, inner engineering, uh, becoming better, Wim Hof is good. Uh, Sky Life is also nice, but Sadhguru, I feel so grateful to live uh, at the same time in uh, on, on earth of these human beings. So 
uh, I think we should be honored to have someone like him. There are many people like him, but he is the one that used internet and social media to spread this awareness and consciousness. So I really like him. I think you should try to watch one of all his videos. For beauty care, I really like, of course, uh, I'm, a, I'm a guy, so I watch male beauty care uh, YouTube channels. Uh, I really like Aaron Marino, of course, alpha male. I really like Alex Costa, my boy. I really like uh, teaching men fashion. I really like real men, real style. These ones are all really good. But I think that my favorite one remains the classic, remains uh, Aaron Marino, like the, the one alpha man. But in reality, if you talk about beauty care, uh, I think that even lifestyle, maybe Alex Costa is a little bit more modern in that kind, maybe more helpful in practical ways, I don't know. But if you want to go fragrances only, like you see, I'm very passionate about fragrances. If you go fragrances only, then you have to follow Jeremy Fragrance. Of course, he is the main influencer about fragrances. Uh, he makes a lot of content recently, but I think you would love it. Is very different <laughs> in this period but i mean many people like him so i also like him a lot i also li loved his kind of content so check him out all the links of the people that i mentioned are in the description i love them all so jeremy fragrance follow him if you're struggling and wanting to find motivation, so for motivation, I really don't personally believe much in motivation. I think that once you are productive and you have a routine and you have organization and you have the inner growth and health and fitness and beauty care covered and finance covered, motivation uh, doesn't even matter that much anymore. <laughs> so it comes from within. But if you need some sort of push, uh, right away, I think one like Tony Robbins, the classic, uh, he's the one. For camera gears, I love, like if you want to make videos, etc. This is a bonus, Peter McKinnon, of course, and Matti Hapoja, the, the guy, the, the friend of Peter, they are very nice. And lastly, for entertainment, because this is also a personal and self-care uh, huge topic, I love. PewDiePie. PewDiePie, the guy with the most amount of subscribers as a one single person on YouTube. I've been following for years, like even before he was uh, like huge and I really love him. Even Mr. Beast, of course, is good, but PewDiePie gives me very good vibes. Logan Paul or whoever else, you could love them all, but PewDiePie guys, you have to follow him. Oh guys, and of course you have to follow there you go, Will Smith. For entertainment, for motivation, for everything, Will Smith is the main guy, so follow him as well. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what do you think about it. These are my favorite ones in terms of self-development and personal development. I follow a lot of other YouTubers, but these ones are the first ones that come into my mind if I want to think about who I should follow to keep going with my progress and also having a good time. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Let me know in the comments what do you think about it, and I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.